Hello everyone, so today's video is going to be a little bit of an informational video about how I waterproof my guinea pig cages. I get this question a lot because my guinea pig cages are homemade, they're made of wood and the basic thing people can't understand is how I keep them waterproof because obviously guinea pigs pee and poop a lot and if they weren't waterproof then the cages wouldn't last, they'd be unhygienic and they'd probably have been thrown out by now because they just wouldn't have lasted this long already. So when we were building them we thought it was really important to find the perfect solution to waterproofing the cages. Obviously a lot of people who have kind of CNC cages use different types of linings to keep the cages waterproof like plastic linings like Corex and things like that. Now I didn't want to do that in a wooden cage, I wanted it to look really nice. Not that I've got any issue with the CNC Corex cages but because it was a wooden cage I just didn't think it would look right. So I wanted something nice and tidy and easy to use in my cages. So at that time when we were making the cages and planning the cages, my family happened to be into, some of my family anyway, happened to be into boat building and they found something called resin and suggested it to me. So I thought, oh I wonder if this could be used in a guinea pig cage so I researched it and I really looked into it how it could be pet safe if you could find pet safe resin and where you could use it how it works how it's created that kind of thing I really researched it so basically to coat my cages I used resin that's the basic answer to my question now what is resin so resin is basically a sticky stuff that comes out of trees you've probably seen it before it's the horrible sticky stuff that comes out of trees and the resin that people use to waterproof boats is a kind of solution of that so that's how boats stay waterproof and are able to wooden boats by the way are able to be taken out into lakes and rivers and the sea and everything so I thought if it's good enough to waterproof a boat it's got to be good enough to waterproof a guinea pig cage. It's not something I'd seen anyone do before. I would researched and researched it, not heard of anyone using resin before on a guinea pig cage at all. So not, I don't know if I was the first one to do it, but as far as I know, nobody else had. So I really wanted to come up with this unique idea, use it, see if it works, and it definitely, definitely has. So. You, resin is actually used for a lot of different things and I think I've definitely added to the list now of something else it can be used for. We really really searched into the pet safety aspect of it and went locally to find some resin and things like that. Um, researched into how to use it, the guinea pigs actually weren't in the shed for a long time actually while it was being done because it does have a strong smell and we also took precautions on where we were using it because we didn't want to risk them chewing it. So. We just used it on the base and halfway up the wall so they couldn't chew on those at all. And the resin, once you make it up, it actually dries up into a hard plastic like layer. So the nice wooden cages have stayed nice and fresh and clean because the bottom of the layer of the cages are just like a plastic coating. So it's really, really worked. And I think it's a great solution to waterproofing wooden cages. Something we've done in the past also is we've PVA'd parts of cages that the guinea pigs can't get to and it keeps them waterproof. So um, a thick layer of PVA, pet safe PVA, works great for that but I wanted something long lasting that had a kind of plasticky type feel to it which resin definitely does. So that is basically how I waterproof my guinea pig cages and if you've got any questions please remember to comment them down below or anything else you want to say or ask i really do appreciate your comments and likes so please comment and like the video it really does help the channel and thank you for watching i hope it's helped you out i will see you all next time bye everyone